welcome back to learning partner so this is not a video where i will be taking any topic or i will be explaining any project or anything this is just a everyday activity uh, if you are preparing for the interview or if you are in the learning phase you might be creating multiple projects whether you might be working on the angular or the react in both of this technology we have to rely on the node module folder so every one of us know like how many files are there in the node module so many dependencies like even if we are using it in angular case now they are reducing their uh, packages dependencies but still it is huge space so rather than creating normally when we uh, when we are preparing we create multiple projects so rather than keeping node module in every project we can keep a, we can create a single instance of node module and use that node module to all the remaining project right so now this will be for the angular as well same as the react as well or if you are working on the vue.js anywhere wherever you are using the node module so rather than keeping uh, the node module copy in every project you can create a copy of the node module in a separate folder and wherever you you wherever you need node module you can use the reference of that particular folder by creating just a shortcut now so how do we do that so let me just explain so this is a existing project uh, existing folder where I have created a package.json. <clears throat> now, how do we create the package.json? It is simple, like you can create a new project. Just don't let uh, node module execute it. Just control C on the stop, uh, uh, just stop that process. So you will get the basic project, right? From that, there you can get the package.json. So like that only I have uh, get got this package.json. Let me just in, uh, open this in a notepad. Now your package.json will be like, let's say in your system you need to have certain different versions of angular so you can create a cop you can create a package json for with angular 16 with angular 15 or angular 17 as well now what are the various packages you are going to use let's say in one other project you are going to use node uh, bootstrap in another project you are going to use material in another project you are going to use prime ng so your package.json should have all the entries of different packages like bootstrap can be there prime ng can be there quantasum can be there material can be there so you are creating a node module where everything is there and based on the project you can just use whatever you need so this is what i wanted to tell you so you can just create a project get that package.json and now let's say i have this package.json now in another folder this is an angular 17 so in this i'm creating angular 17 let's say angular underscore 17 in this i'm putting my packet.json only package.json now i have to do npm install over here so cmd npm i so what it will does it will just install all the packages whatever the packages we have said in this package.json and it will create a node module folder over here only so now this is going to take some time so let this process complete So now you can see all my package has been successfully installed. So around 937 packages have been successfully installed. Now let's see over here. So now here you can see we have got node module folder and the package.logjson. Whenever we install the node module, we get the package.logjson automatically created. So now in node module, we have all the dependencies what we need. Whatever the dependencies we have said in the particular package.json. Now let's say in this angular 17 instead of this let's make it angular 17 modules i'm just renaming my folder let me just close this because it is opening let me just close this command prompt then i can rename this so in this folder node module folder is there inside this i have the node module now let's say you need to create a angular 17 project so in this particular folder i'm create opening new command prompt and i need to create a new project so ng new let's say demo or let's say employee rp enter so the <coughs> it will create a new project so it will ask for the CSS. Now it is Angular 17 I have already installed. 
So it will ask you like, do you need a server side rendering or not? So I'm just simply saying no. Now here, see, it is installing the NPM. Now you have to stop it over here, control C. Now, if you see the project is created, but you don't have node model over here. Now here, you just have to create a shortcut of this node, mod node model folder. Now for that, we have a command. So this is mklink. This is a batch command or a command prompt. So you just have to open the command prompt. There you need to write a command like this. Now, this is the path of your node module. Where do we, where your node module is there? So this is my node module folder. So you just have to go inside this. You just need to copy this folder. Now let's go to notepad. So you can see D, Angular, Angular 70 node module and the node module. So this path, you need to put it over here. Whatever the path, whatever the directory you store your node module, that path you need to copy and paste it over here. This will be same because we are just going to create a shortcut of this node module folder. So now we have created a command, but so this is a pro this is a folder where we have to create the shortcut of that node module folder. Now you need to open a command prompt with administrative access. So just press the windows key type CMD. Right click on the command prompt run as an administrator. It will show you the pop-up. Just click on yes. Now this is the administrative mode. Now you need to go to that particular folder. Where is our project? So our project is in the D folder, then Angular and the employee ERP. So now currently we are in the C. So you just have to type D colon enter. So now we are in the D drive. CD, we have to go to the, we are already in the D drive. Now we have to go to the Angular. So Angular enter. CD, only one folder is there employee ERP. Now we are in the employee ERP folder. Now here you need to run this command. So let's copy and let's paste it. So once I paste it, the command automatically got fired also. So now you can see in employee ERP, I have got the node module shortcut. Here you can see arrow is there, means this folder is nothing but a shortcut. So now if I try to run this project, I'm I will be able to run it. Let's try it. So we have created employee project and we have created a shortcut of that node model into this folder also. Now the project should properly work. If it so you can see localhost 4200. Let's try to open. So you can see project is coming. Just like that, let's say I have created another project. So in Angular folder, let's create another project. CMD, NG, new, let's say e-commerce, enter. So now I can create n number of project, but my node model folder will be single copy only. You just need to cancel it. You just need to uh, only allow let the project created. You don't have to install the NPM node model. So you can see again, we don't have the node model. Again, you just have to open the command prompt, CMD. Just make sure like you are opening the command prompt in the administrative mode. Otherwise that command won't fire. It, it will throw some error like you don't have administrative privilege or something. So D drive, we have to go CD, Angular, CD. Now we have to go to the e-commerce. So e-commerce. Now you just need to paste that command, whatever we have created. So in this folder also, we have got this. So as number of, as number of projects you can create, but a single node module copy will be used to all your projects. So this will save your time of installing node module again and again. Plus it will save your desktop, uh, whatever the laptop machine you are using, the space also it will save. Now, if I show you now, my space is almost getting over just because I heard some, so many projects of React and Angular, which uh, I also didn't get the time to change it. So that space unnecessary, it is utilizing, right? So this is a way how you can create a single node module folder. I have explained this in case of the Angular project, but same method you will be doing in case of React or in case of Vue.js. Whatever the front side, front end side libraries, we work wherever we need the node module. This way you can use it. So that's it with the current video. I hope you are finding this helpful. Again, if you are new to this uh, channel, please do like and subscribe.